I'm pretty sure the lighting out here is crap, but, you know, I didn't feel like sitting in my messy room. I probably should clean it, because we have inspections. Hmm. I got my juice. I'm ready to go. little video talking to... I have to burp. It went away. We're good. So I thought that I'll make a little video talking to y'all today about um, something that has come up recently in my life, and that is that I am extending my program. Yay! I thought I would tell you how this whole thing kind of happened, because it happened rather quickly. Um... And I just wanted to share with you why I am extending and what I'm going to be doing and all that fun stuff. So here we go! So basically, applications to extend came out in the beginning of October. And up until that point, I was kind of, um, <clears throat> I was very excited to go back to BG in January. I was ready to meet my G Little and hang out with all my musical theater friends and, you know, do all my fun college things that I like to do. And then applications came out, and I did a complete 180. I realized that I was not ready to leave, that I am enjoying my time here too much, and I kind of, um, not to get all religious on y'all, but I kind of was praying um, and, you know, thinking about a lot of things, and I essentially kind of realized that um, there's something that I have not completed in my time here, I feel like I'm not done here yet. But I know this is like a weird thing, but it feels like that I have something that I need to complete still, and I haven't done that yet. Um, and because of that, I, you know, started thinking I'm not ready to leave. I think I should extend. So I knew the first people I had to talk to about this were my parents, um, because they were kind of the ones that, you know, I had talked to originally, like, it's only going to be January, I'm not going to stay, I need to finish school, you know, all that stuff. So I put together this whole presentation for them about why it would be a good idea for me to extend and what I would benefit from it and why it wouldn't mess with my schooling. Um, and they were very surprisingly cool with it. Um, I was worried, uh, very worried. I almost had a panic attack before I Skyped them. Um, and I started crying while I was giving them because I was so nervous to talk to them. Um, and they basically, you know, had a lot of questions for me, um, a lot of things that I need to talk to with people at school about um, to make sure that, you know, I wouldn't lose my student status, I wouldn't lose my financial aid package, um, and that ultimately, you know, extending wouldn't mess with my schooling because that is, you know, I'm the reason I'm down here is because I'm in college. So, um, you know, they want to make sure that that wouldn't screw up any of my schooling stuff. So I talked to, you know, people in the internship office. I talked to um, financial aid people, and um, I found out that, you know, if I completed a certain, you know, if I completed a certain class and did some things that I wouldn't lose my student status, I wouldn't lose my financial aid, um, and all I had to do was submit an application to extend my program, and that was it. And then I had talked to my advisor um, because I, you know, was thinking about my classes and stuff and how I could make it work. Um, essentially, there is a class called Major Event for my major that I have to take two times um, throughout my college career, and it's only offered in the fall. So normally, I would be taking it this fall and next fall. But because I'm here, I would I'm taking it next fall and the fall after. So no matter what, I have to be in school until fall 2016 so I can complete can complete that Major Event class. And after talking to my advisor and going through my core requirements that I need to graduate, I realized that I have so few classes left, um, go me for doing 17 credits every semester for the last two years, I realized I have so few classes left that it makes more sense for me to go back to school in the fall and do fall 2015, spring 2016, fall 2016, and graduate than it would to do spring 15, fall 15, spring 16, fall 16, because I still few, um, you know, I'd just be dragging it out doing the bare minimum and it wouldn't make sense financially, it would just be, you know, dragging it out and, you know, not, I can't talk. It wouldn't make sense. So after all those things kind of fell into place, um, you know, I submitted my application, 
Um, and I was accepted, and um, I'm so excited to be extending. I am extending same role, same location. Um, I'm going to be doing children's activities once again at Port Orleans, which that's kind of the whole reason I decided I wanted to extend, just because I love my Port family so much. I love the job that I'm doing. Um, I love the experiences that I get to have every day at Port, um, and I love the people that I work with, and it's just it's a really great place for me. And um, oh my gosh, I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, and you know I'm a big believer in signs, um, and clearly everything is pointing toward me staying here until. Um, May. I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for me um, and hopefully you know I can network and you know meet people um, which this semester it's kind of been all about oh I get to play in the parks I get to go for free do as much as I can where now you know the spring semester is going to be more educational so I'm going to really try to get into that entertainment show production class. Um, I am going to try to network with people as much as I can, um, meet people in the entertainment business, meet people um, higher up in, you know, recreation and just kind of um, see who I can meet and see what connections I can make. But yeah, so that is my story about extending and I, like I said before, I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to see what the spring semester will bring um, and I can't wait to spend four more months down in Florida. All right, y'all, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully this is not too long. I guess we'll see what happens when I edit it. But um, I will talk to y'all in my next vlog. Bye.